Hi everyone, this is AFCRD TV and welcome to highlights of Whiz Beach Town against AFC Russian Diamonds from the UCL Premier Division on Saturday afternoon. Following the midweek victory over Desborough Town, manager Mark Stahl made just one change to the starting eleven. Alfie Taylor coming into the side to replace Nat Liebert. And it was Diamonds with the opening chances there. A header from Brad Harris going just wide. And Diamonds also had the best of the opening 15 minutes or so before a moment of magic for Wisbeach. A shot from well outside the area from Callum Stocks firing into the top corner. Really, Tom Cross had no chance with that one. And that gave Wisbeach the lead in the 15th minute. Diamonds came straight back into it though with many opportunities. Here, Faisal Korea darting into the area and being hacked down by defender Paul Cousins. Although Korea missed the penalty, a top save by Whiz Beach stopper Lee Jordan before Sham McBride could only put the rebound over. However, Diamonds would get the equaliser before half time. A great through ball from Aaron King into the path of Alfie Taylor. And one touch from him past Jordan off the foot of the post to give Diamonds the equaliser in the 34th minute. And that was really the end of the action, although a somewhat innocuous challenge from Aaron King where he seemed not to touch the ball nor the player. The referee decided to give King a booking, which would become very important later on in the game. However, that was the end of the action for the first half. So half time in this one was Beach Town 1, AFC Russian and Diamonds 1. It was the Diamonds with the first opportunity really in the second period. A ball headed on to Korea from Russ Dunkley. Got to the ball before the goalkeeper, although. This beaches players managed to get back just in the nick of time. And then it was Aaron King with a late challenge on Whiz Beach defender John Fairweather. The referee giving King his second booking and therefore gave King his marching orders. There was time for just one more opportunity for the Diamonds. Here rest Dungley shrugging off a defender. Getting into the area and with Diamonds players trying to support the Diamonds man. No man in a white shirt could get onto the ball just in time. So full time in this one, Whiz Beach Town 1, AFC Russian and Diamonds 1. The Diamonds now in ninth in the UCL Premier Division, although they do have matches in hand on the teams around them. Now I'm joined again as usual with first team manager Mark Starmer, following AFC Russian and Diamonds 1-1 one, one draw here at Whiz Beach. Mark, your thoughts on the game? It's tough. Um, we haven't played particularly badly and created a number of chances in the first half and the second half, not taking them. And um, you know, at the end of the day, it's a, it's a point gained, gained, it's two points dropped. Whichever way you want to look at it, let's be positive, it's a point gained. Um, could have done better, should have done better. Um, they've scored an absolutely cracking goal. And um, we have the chance to respond straight away. But didn't, um, and they found it tough and got the equaliser and never really kicked on again. And then with 20 minutes to go, we looked obviously dead on the feet. So, yeah, disappointing at the minute. Yeah, I think frustrating would have been a word that a lot of people were using. So we saw the 4-2-3-1 formation again, and um, that seemed to work well to start with. Yeah, it did. And, you know, some of the runs are, are fantastic. And, and Fats got in behind. Kingy's runs were superb. And then, and then it just, I don't know, it just seemed to stop in the second half. You know, it wasn't, the Fares could have had a couple in the second half early doors, but we, you know, we haven't taken the opportunities we've created and by having movement. And then it seemed to stop. People weren't getting back in the shape. People weren't doing the jobs they were asked to do. And it sort of got scrappy and, and petered out, you know, and we've had a great chance at the end. You know, I'd put my mortgage on dunk scoring there at the end. Every day of the week, but he, he chose not to shoot. So, overall, it's disappointing. It's you know the formation's got nothing to do with it. Some of the um, commitment later on in games is is questionable, and you know 
yeah, at the end of the day, we, we've come away. It's a tough place to come, and we've got a point. So, and in some bizarre way, the penalty miss seemed to spur us on because we had a good 10-15 uh, minutes after that, and uh, coming home with a nicely taken goal from Alfie. Yeah, it, you know, it, we haven't played badly. It's just been frustrating because quality at the end of it has not been there, and you know, for large proportions of that game, we've dominated, we've had the possession and we haven't used the ball well enough and you know, what, what do you want? You know, we, yes we want three points, yes we want a hat full of goals and but the performance wasn't that bad and, and it's just the finishing touches that are stopping us you know, stopping sides and and, and getting the wins that we so, you know, so des desperately need and it, it's, it's hard at the minute you know and but we'll keep going. We'll keep soldiering on. OK, and we talked on Tuesday about Elliot leaving and then uh, we had the news later on in the week that Jack Wisniewski's off. Um, Jack obviously been with us since the start. How did you feel about that? Again, you know, Jack and I had long discussion on Wednesday of last week after the um, Peterborough Northern Star game and he told me he wasn't overly happy and, and all the rest of it. He was just wanted to play football and... I said to him, well, you played last night, you'll play Saturday, and there's a good chance you'll play on the Tuesday. And he said, well, I'm, I'm you know, not going to be available for the Saturday, and I'll ring you next week. So that's how he left it, and obviously he's made his decision, and I'll stand by that. You know, that that's his decision, not mine. I didn't want him to go. I rang him, and I, and I asked him not to go, and Pixie spoke to him and asked him not to go, but he's, you know, he's... At the end of the day, he's made up his mind that he wants to go. He's chosen to go to Wellumba. And, you know, to be fair, I've done everything I can to make sure he can he's available to play for them today. And that's not because I wanted him to go. That's because I like the lad, you know, and he's, he's obviously been here since the start. And, you know, I left it. I could show you the text that he sent me last night, you know, and I appreciate that. And feelings are mutual and the door's always open for him. So, yeah, it's disappointing. But you can't keep everyone happy. They they want to play, and you know Lance wasn't available today. He, he texted me last night. That's why we only had 15 on the bench. But we've got Parker to come back. We've still got Morgs and, and Louis in the in the 21s and, and Rashid. So we've still got plenty of players. You know, it's it's not an issue. Players aren't, aren't an issue, and um, you know we will go that side today. Should be good enough to finish reasonably highly in, in this Premier League, and that's what we want to aim for. That's what we want to do. And um, we'll go from there. And uh, just going back to the game, um, obviously we finished with 10 men with Aaron getting sent off. It's a bit of a silly one, the second one, wasn't it? Yeah, the first one weren't a booking because he's just slid in yeah, did, and yeah. he's not even touched the bloke and he's just gone in to slide to block the ball and he's, he's been penalised and that was two seconds after he's played advantage for you know, their number eight that's just kicked lumps out of it. everyone every time he's got the ball, uh, we've got the ball, and he's not said nothing to him. So it was a bit confusing. And then the second one, yeah, it was, it was high, but again, he's not touched him. As you saw when the, when the lad got up and, and took the free kick, he, he, you know, he was fine. So that's all part and parcel. You know, I understand that. Yes, it was a bit silly. But at the end of the day, we weren't good enough to get three points today. And that's, that's why I'm not focusing on that. We're focusing on why we weren't good enough to get the three points, and that's because we didn't have the quality in the in the final third. And you know, I'm not blaming the referee at all. Um, it wasn't the best, but it, was it any worse than we were? And answer probably no, if I'm honest. And you know, that's what I've got to concentrate on it is us. So. And teams will come here, play better than we've played today, and get um, absolutely battered. I just think. More than likely, you know, because you know they, they've huffed and puffed, haven't caused us too many issues, if if we're honest. But you know, at the end of the day, we've got to look after ourselves and, and do what we've got to do. Um, we've got a point, so um, we're reasonably happy with that, and we move forward to Tuesday night. And Tuesday at Sarby, um, scenes of great joy last year. We uh, hope that have repeated. Be nice. It'd be nice, you know. We we need we need something good at the minute, you know. Obviously, with with Elliot going, Wiz going, you know. Personally, it's it's a bit depressing for me. And three points today would have been very nice, but it wasn't to be. And um, you know, hopefully Tuesday we'll go and get three points and and put in a performance for everybody.
And we've seen uh, Adam on the bench and uh, got a few minutes on Saturday. Do we know how Quince is getting on after his operation? Yeah, he's soldiering on. He'll be a few months. Yeah, you know, he, you know, we won't see him for a long time. So, um, no, he's he's all right. He keeps in contact with us all. So, yeah, he, he, he's doing. He's it's coming on nicely. Brilliant. Well, I think it's important that we go away remembering that we didn't actually lose this game, and uh, we'll go again on Tuesday. Yeah, definitely. You know, we've got no God-given right to win every game of football. We've got to earn it, and we haven't today. So that's it. And just a thank you to all the supporters again who have, who have travelled in numbers. It was it was good, and um, we got a point for you, but unfortunately it wasn't three. OK, thanks very much as always, Mark. Cheers, mate. Well, now I'm here with uh, Ashley Russian and Diamonds man of the match, Sam Brown. Sam, we've heard Mark's thoughts on the game. Uh, what were your thoughts? Um, six of power. It was awful. To be honest, we, I don't know, didn't really get going at all. Obviously, they scored a very good goal, which sort of put us on the back foot for a bit. But I think other than that, we sort of, I don't know, we had more of the possession. We just couldn't do enough with it. And towards the end, we just slacked off. And, yeah, it wasn't good enough all around, I think. So, uh, any areas particularly that you thought we lacked in? I think it was, I don't know, a bit of, a bit of the tempo at times. Um it just wasn't good enough. We were just too slow. Um, and then, I don't know, maybe just final third. We just weren't creative enough. And then we did, when we did have the chances, maybe we rushed them and didn't take any chances that we had. And yeah. So the team definitely looking at it as two points dropped rather than a point gained? Yeah. Yeah, I think most games we're going to go into, obviously, looking to win. And I think if we don't come out with three points, then we're going to see as we've dropped points. Um, I think we definitely should have come here and won the game um so yeah okay and uh, you get a chance to go again on tuesday at srb um not having a get together between saturday and tuesday how hard is it to uh, play the games in quick succession um i think it's it's not too bad obviously if the fixtures pile up then it does get quite gets on top of you but I think especially after a performance like that the lads will be over the moon to be able to get another game on the way quickly um, to be able to put today behind them and hopefully get a positive result on Saturday, Tuesday I believe, Well we'll let you get on because we know you're not in the best of moods uh, I would say <laughs> I would say that it's quite uh, quite pleasing and our supporters should be quite um, pleased to see that uh, you've come out here as spokesman for the lads and saying that they're all gutted after getting a Hard one point, so thanks very much for that. Yeah, we can just probably just apologise for the fans for obviously a bit of a trek to come all the way over here, and hopefully next time uh, they come watch us, we'll be able to put a bit, yeah, be able to put a better performance in for them. Yeah, it's about 28 quid in petrol, so if you go in and have a whip round, <laughs> that'd be great. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs>